So what are we making today? Cheese. Cheese. Um, which kind of cheese? Do you remember? No. We're going to try making blue cheese, gorgonzola style cheese. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get our milk. Okay. Okay. So the recipe says that we need five gallons of milk. Goo. But that is too many gallons for us. We don't have a pot big enough, do we? So we're going to do a two gallon recipe. Can you help? I can. So I'm going to put this cheesecloth into the boiling water so that it's ready when we need it. That's big cheesecloth. It is. Well, we're going to make a big cheese, right? All right, pour this one in. <laughs> Here, let's taste them and see if they taste good. Yeah, that tastes good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? So we have that. We need to wash our hands after this. Yeah. Okay, wait till I'm ready for it, okay? Yeah. We should bring this closer so that the video can see what it is. So this is our moldy, very moldy bread. Right? Yeah. Moldiest bread in town. So we need it to... It smells really good. So we Doesn't have it? to... It smells really good. It does? Yeah. It kind of does. Surprising. Could I pour? So mm -hmm. we're going to put in half a hazelnut sized piece of blue bread. Half a hazelnut sized That looks about right. What are we going to use the blue bread for? Moldy bread. To, for, but why do we add mold spores to our cheese? I guess to make moldy cheese. Yeah, but what color moldy cheese? Blue. Blue cheese. We need a half a cup. Ooh, feel it. Oh, does it feel weird? Oh, yeah, it does. Uh, uh oh. Okay, so now we're going to heat our milk, right? Yeah. Do you want to help me heat? Sure, fine. Okay. Okay, can I stick to this? You have to get to 90 degrees, right? How's this? How's the milk going? Well, the water drops down onto the flame, right? And it makes a hissing sound. 90. All right, let's turn it off. Hey, I don't like this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You turn it off. So put that in. Hey, all I the way in. Okay, oh, I... all the way in. Okay, and then you want to do this one? Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is strain our blue bread out of the water. Right? So we don't want the blue bread. In the cheese. Right. Correct. That's probably good, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're back over at the pots and you're pouring in the blue cheese water, right? Yeah. Where's your spoon? Oh, it's in the pot? Okay, stir that one up. We have to let the cultures incubate for an hour. Incubate. It means we let them stay warm and do their thing for an hour. What is the bacteria going to do? They're going to grow. What? They're going to, what do you mean what? They're going to grow themselves. How? How will they grow themselves? That's a good question. So when we put in the rennet, we don't over stir. We just do a figure eight. Let's practice the figure eight. I will show you. I won't do that. You're not going to do it? No. You want me to, you want to pour it in and I'll stir? Why'd you take your hat off? There we go. And then here's half of the rennet for that pot. Pour it in. Whoops. All right. You may put that lid back on and we're going to let these guys sit for another hour. So it's been about 30 minutes and the rennet is starting to set. It's you can see that the milk Are you, are you talking to me? Uh, no, I'm talking to the video. That the milk is sort of a little more firm. So here we are where the cheese has the curd has sat, I should say, for an hour, right? Do you remember how to test for a clean break? You pick it up. Well, no, you don't pick it up. You stick your finger in and pull it up.
call it this way, so. That's I don't even know. Okay, let's start. Cut, let's cut this one together, okay? So we have to make, we try to make them the same size. Okay, gently. The next thing we got to do is cut the other direction, right? Are you talking to me? I am. What? We're talking now. We're just talking. So which direction should we cut this way? This way? Yeah. There we go. It's staying in one place. So we have one direction left to go, and this is the hard direction, right? Because we have to cut like this way in the pot, but it's hard to get the knife there. So we're going to do our best, right? And then if they're too big, and we when we stir it, what do we do? Take them out. Or cut them over again. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Look at that nice cube. Yeah. Sort of like a poached egg. Well, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to um, set the... I'd like you to stir each... Start with this one. Stir them gently. And I'm going to set the timer for, for 30 minutes. Can I also show them this one? This one needs to be cut. Oh, why don't you stir... Keep your... Um, make sure you keep your... Sleeves up. You stir and I'll I'll um, cut, okay? As I see them. Yeah. Did you try one? No. Do I try one? one? Yeah. How's it? Tastes like a poached egg. So it's <laughs> been like 25 minutes, right? And it's time to check the key. All right. So let's stick your hand in. What do you got here? Ooh, what does it feel like? A poached egg. Like a poached egg. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stick our hands In the into the pot. And I'm going to move this closer, the colander closer, so that we try to get less whey all over the kitchen. And I want you to put the curds right in, straight away, straight in. You're sort of like wringing them out. Uh, you don't need to wring them out. You just sort of let the water drain out of your hands. But yeah, don't squeeze them. I like when you like sort of squeeze them and they break, don't you? Yeah, they're sort of firm, but sort of not, right? Yeah. Definitely firmer than they were before. Yeah. There's more in this one. There's more in this one. This one's full. Okay. All right, let's salt the cheese. Sprinkle, sprinkle, mix, mix, mix. Mix your hands in. Um, Ooh, try it. Ooh, is it good? Did you lick off the spoon? No. What, where did you, how did you eat the cheese okay. then? Oh, I see. Mom, um, look how full that is. Oh, wow, that's really full. We should get it out of there. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, let's move it to the next pot. So we need to make a quart of washing brine. So we're going to take a, uh, so it's got a tablespoon of salt in it, and then we're going to pour a quart of whey into it. So we've set up our draining table. Can you describe it? We have this bucket. bucket that we drilled holes in to make our cheese form, right? And then we have a baking rack and then a glass casserole dish under it, basically. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take our cheesecloth that we boiled earlier and put it inside the cheese form. And do you remember why we do this? So, it's, I don't know. It's so that when it's time to flip the cheese, it's easy to get out of the form. All right, so our next move is to scoop it. Is to scoop the curds and put them into the cheese form. I sort of pushed it. Did and you sort of push it? Watch. <laughs> squish, squish. Because, like, when you squish it, it makes quite a noise, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. And then we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes because after, don't push on it. Don't push on it. It will push the cheese out the holes, which we don't want. Okay? Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah, we don't want that. So I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes, and in 10 minutes, we'll flip it. Let's see if it's, let's see if we can flip it. sort of coming together, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I like that big, like, thing, don't you? I do. Now 
and we'll put it back in the form. So here we are, right? Yeah. And we have our cheese. What has it been doing overnight? Sitting and draining. Sitting and draining. It has sat for 24 hours in the cheese mold, and I flipped it a few times. Yeah. So now we're going to... Only one time, right? And now we'll take it out. Take it out. Oh. And you can unwrap it. It's dry. Let's hold it up. Get it a little closer. I'll hold. I'll carry it over. And here it is. So oh. you'll put it. So you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we'll wash this for next time. Hold it carefully. I don't want you to drop that. Mm -hmm. And we have to put it on its bamboo mat. And it, our next step is to dry for 24 hours. The last so. night. It's a night, yeah, so we're going to come back to this tomorrow afternoon. Is yeah. it over? And then over? What do you mean? Are we going to salt it? I don't think we're going to salt it because we already salted the inside. So we taste it? Uh, sure. Do you also taste it too? Yeah, it's fine right now, right? It doesn't taste like anything. doesn't taste like much, right? We're back with our gorgonzola after a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do we have here? Gorgonzola. We have our cheese cave, right? Yeah. So we'll take the lid off, and we wrote on here that we started the cave on the 6th. And Ooh, here it's dry. we have. It's what? It's dry. It's dry. That's what it's supposed to do. It is, right? So here's our wheel of it Gorgonzola. Is. It's so gigantic. It is pretty gigantic. And um, just so we can see what's inside the cave, we have our humidity monitor, right? Which was around. Yeah, it's stinky. It smells like stinky feet. Does it? Let's see. Because we washed it. It does a little it's bit. It's wash dry. It is. And we have our um, bamboo mat in the bottom of our. Oh, we need to change that. We do. It's a bit damp. And we also need to wipe out the cave. Yeah. So we'll move the cave over here, put it here, and we'll get the brine out. Here, let's get the So that we can. No, first we'll wash it because we haven't done washing yet. Alright, so here we have the whey that we saved and salted. Yep, there it is. So I'm going to get you a clean tea towel, and, I'm gonna and you're going to wash it. See, so do you remember how to do it? Yeah, you just stick it on your finger and wipe. you got to dip it in the brine first. Yeah. All right. And I think that's the last we need to do with the, with the washing, right? Yeah. yeah. To pierce the cheese. Once the cheese has aged for a week, it can be pierced. With the skewer, pierce the cheese several dozen times, taking care to evenly distribute the piercings. Skewer the cheese from the top and the bottom, as well as the sides. All right, so we have our skewers. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, my cheese fell. Oh. Is it good? It's like gorgonzola. Chefs always do hard work. Chefs do do hard work, that's true. Anyone here? Why do we have to grab it? Because the blue mold. Ah! Careful. I was like a crane. Needs air to turn blue. Should we show them to wipe out the cave? Or? Oh, yeah. Let me get you the cake. So you. Oh, I'll wipe it out. Okay, I'll get just use that. Clean this off. Please stop pushing the cart. And we'll get a clean mat to put it on. Clean and dry mat. I'm trying to. Where is Oh, here they are. Show them, show them what. Oh, show them how you're drying it out. It smells like gorgonzola. Really? Yeah, it's true. It certainly does. All right, you want to pop it in? Yeah. Goodbye, cheese. Goodbye, cheese. How long will you rest in here? Let's check in here. It says, put it back in the cage and continue to wait, age it, flipping it twice weekly to prevent sticking. It should be ready in two to three months. Well, that's a long, that's a long time to wait, isn't it? Then we're going to bring it downstairs. Uh, well, I think it's going to live in the fridge because it's sort of warm out right now. So let's change the date on our... 
Here, I'll cheese cake. Little. No, no. Thank you. So now we're for 13. So, gosh, this looks like it's going to be ready in like May or June? June. June or July? That's a long time. That's a long time to wait for cheese. Can we wait that long? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Bye. Bye.